Right after updating to iOS 26, is your iPhone keyboard not showing up when you tap on the screen or even if it does, it becomes so slow and laggy that you can't type anything on it? Don't get frustrated. Instead, let's go ahead and check out some quick fixes. All right, so first, sometimes Bluetooth devices like wireless keyboards can cause this type of problem. So just in case, if that's your situation, just go ahead and turn off Bluetooth. If that's not your issue and it didn't solve your problem, next, let's go ahead and open up settings. From there, go to general, scroll down and then enter the keyboard settings. Now from there, just go ahead, open up the keyboard option. Now here, what you're gonna do is just delete your current keyboard from this list and then simply tap on add keyboard and then just re-add your previous keyboard once again. And then if you have different kinds of keyboards in this list that you do not need, if you want, just go ahead and delete them from here. And also, if there is any third-party keyboard app installed to your iPhone that might interfere with your built-in one, just go ahead and uninstall that. If that didn't solve your problem, you can just give your iPhone a forced restart. For that, quickly press and release the volume up and down button and then press and hold the power button till it shows the Apple logo on your screen. Sometimes this type of problem happens for no specific reasons, but for some minor software glitch and a forced restart can solve it. If none of this helped you, don't worry. Now we're gonna just go ahead and uh, reset all settings on our iPhone. For that, open settings. From there, go to general. Scroll down till the end to transfer or reset iPhone. Tap on reset, and then just hit reset all settings. Verify yourself if prompted. Just make sure you got your Wi-Fi password cause this process will remove that. And then just hit over reset all settings a couple of times. Your iPhone will restart after the reset all settings and hopefully you can use your keyboard without any problem after that. Thanks for watching.